Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories we're tracking for you. India reacts after Canadian PM refutes claim he is soft on Khalistani elements. PM the health remarks on India stirred storm in Nepal. And Buddhists in India celebrate the Lai Lama's 88th birthday. And now for all the details, India's Foreign Ministry spokesperson Arindam Bakchi on Thursday reacting to Canadian PM Justin Trudeau's remarks over the Khalistan issue said that freedom of expression cannot be misused to the advocate extremism and separatism. Trudeau, talking to a local broadcaster, had refuted the claim of being soft on Khalistani elements and had said while Canada believes in freedom of expression, his government will not allow terrorism and violence. Recalling Indian Foreign Minister S. J. Shankar's comments, Bhakti said countries should avoid pandering over vote bank politics over the Khalistan issue. The remarks from the Canadian PM came after India launched a protest with his government over threats issued by Khalistan sympathizers against top Indian diplomats in Canada. We have seen some comments, at least the media reports about comments uh, by Prime Minister Trudeau. Uh, but let me make the larger point that the issue is not about freedom of expression, but it's uh, misuse for advocating violence, uh, for propagating separatism, and for um, legitimizing terrorism. So that's actually what we would like to uh, you know, emphasize. And ahead of Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi's visit to France, diplomatic advisor to French President Emmanuel Bonn met India's National Security Advisor Ajit Doval in New Delhi on Thursday. Both officials held in-depth discussion to make the final preparations for PM Modi's visit later next week. The Indian Prime Minister is scheduled to attend Bastille Day Parade as the guest of honor on July 14th on the invitation of French President Emmanuel Macron. Both leaders will also hold discussions to boost cooperation in defense, energy and space sector. Well, heavy monsoon rains, which is expected to last for several days, hit Pakistan's Lahore on Wednesday, flooding streets and several residential parts of the city. Local media reported at least seven people were also killed in rain-related incidents in Lahore. Punjab Chief Minister Mohsin Nakhvi said the record-breaking 272 millimeters of rain for over nine hours caused urban flooding. The country's monsoon season usually begins in the first week of July, lasting until mid-September. Large swaths of South Asian country were submerged last year due to extremely heavy monsoon rains and melting glaciers, a phenomenon linked to climate change. And Taliban's acting interior minister Sirajuddin Haqqani has said that the reason for the lack of recognition of the Islamic Emirate is Kabul's refusal to accept the world's orders. The remarks came during an event in Paktia, Tolo News reported. Meanwhile, the UN Deputy Special Representative for Afghanistan, Marcus Potzil, on Wednesday again reiterated that Kabul could be integrated into the international community if the issue of female education and their work for NGOs and UN organizations is resolved. Potzil asked the Taliban to revoke the restrictions on women as soon as possible, otherwise there will always be a shadow on its ties with the international community. Taliban authorities say they respect women's rights in accordance with their strict interpretation of Islamic law. And Sri Lanka's central bank on Thursday cut its key interest rates for the second consecutive month as inflation tapered after last year's devastating economic crisis and as the focus has returned to reviving economic growth following a bailout from the IMF. 
the standing deposit facility rate and standing lending facility rate have been cut to 11 and 12 percent, respectively. The island nation plunged into crisis last year as its foreign exchange reserves ran out and food and energy prices spiraled. President Ranil Vikramasinghe took the reins in July last year and negotiated a $2.9 billion bailout from the IMF this March. Its once soaring inflation has now dipped to about 12 percent. Nepal PM Push Kamal Dehel's remarks that an Indian businessman settled in Nepal put in a word for him in Delhi to have him appointed as the Prime Minister has led to a controversy. Dehel reportedly made the remarks during the launch of a book on the life of Preetam Singh, a pioneer trucking entrepreneur in Nepal. The United Opposition on Wednesday created a ruckus in the Parliament and demanded Dehel's resignation, accusing that he had lowered the dignity of the country. Opposition leaders said that a Prime Minister appointed by New Delhi does not have the right to continue in the post. The Hill has however said that his remarks have been misinterpreted. <laughs> Pritam Singh le ek patak mulaay pradhan mandri banau na dheerei mehnat garnu bhayo dheerei choti Delhi janu bani bhayo Nepal ko pradhan mandri banau na Nepali janta tira farkani ho ki Delhi tira zani ho Nepal ko pradhan mandri banau na Delhi janu parne Buddhist across India marked the 88th birth anniversary of their spiritual leader the Dalai Lama on Thursday followers gathered in huge numbers in monasteries to pray for his long life. Buddhists and Tibetans in exile on Thursday celebrated the 88th birthday of their spiritual leader, the 14th Dalai Lama in India's hill town of Dharamshala. The celebration saw a variety of folk dance and music performances in the presence of Dalai Lama, who has lived mostly in Dharamshala after seeking an asylum in India following a rebellion against the Chinese rule in 1959. With age catching up, he, however, remains a symbol of Tibetan resistance against the Chinese rule in Tibet. Uh, 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 many cakes, many, many tea prayers, many prayers for his long life. <laughs> yes, His Holiness is granting us with his holy presence. Similar scenes were witnessed in Shimla where Buddhist monks offered special prayers for the long life of Dalai Lama and also cut a cake on the occasion. Born on July 6, 1935, the 14th Dalai Lama is one of the longest-serving lamas of the Tibetan tradition of Buddhism. He was also awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in 1989. Today is the, his 88th birthday of His Holiness. So we are celebrating uh, at the monastery, the lead by chairman of monastery, and all the uh, cake cutting ceremony also done here. And we wish or uh, wishing long live Dalai Lama for all sending beings. Well, that's all in tonight's edition. We'll see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.